Daily rallies have turned a quiet town into a loud one. These Black Lives Matter supporters believe their critics are making the most noise. It's a rare day if we don't have somebody come up and harass us. Just up the road, a politically conservative group named Reclaim Ellensburg shares the same sentiment. Declining to speak on camera, they say they want to retake the town from BLM. Well, I appreciate that they call it Reclaiming Ellensburg. That means they ceded the town to us. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that Ellensburg belongs to us. It does not belong to hateful bigots. Reclaim Ellensburg insists they aren't the bigots and that BLM promotes hate and un-American ideas. BLM protester Sara Omrani says her group has a rule not to engage with boisterous critics. All lives matter, buddy. All lives. Trans lives, black lives. What about them little babies' lives? They sport body cameras in case an altercation ever breaks out. We have a lot of people that, that drive by and honk and wave and raise their fist and thumbs up. And then we have the, the opposite end of that as well. Trump supporter Devin Shea thinks the bitterness runs both ways. He's been to a few rallies downtown that had a mix of BLM and right-wing protesters. I had a friend get spit on when they were behind us, and it was, you know, but I also had, you know, a lady in our area who, um, decided to call somebody, you know, who was a transgender, and they called them it and stuff like that. And I was like, that's, you know, you can't be saying that. As the clock ticks faster towards November's election, neither group plans on going away. Yeah, I think we have an opportunity to, to make a real change. <laughs> In Ellensburg, David Snyder, Central News Watch.